Uh, yeah, so our study titled uh, Predicting Diabetes with Machine Learning Analysis of Income and Health Factor uh, explores uh, the significant role of uh, socioeconomic factors, uh, particularly income alongside traditional health metric uh, in predicting diabetes risk. This research uh, were conducted by uh, myself and Professor Orang uh, at the Department of Computer Science, American University in Washington, DC. And our contact information is available on the screen for any further question or collaboration you might consider after this presentation. All right, uh, let's uh, dive into how we approach this study and what we discovered. Okay, uh, so I start with a brief overview of our research. This study seeks to examine the complex relationship between diabetes risk and a wide range of health indicators uh, with a particular emphasis on the role of income. Uh, we leverage data from the 2015 Behavioral Risk Factor Surveillance System or BRFSS uh, to conduct this analysis, uh, and our results were very insightful. We found that uh, people with lower incomes have a higher risk of developing diabetes. Uh, this shows that income, along with uh, traditional health factors, uh, is a strong predictor of diabetes. Uh, adding income as a factor in our study help, uh, helps uh, suggest uh, new ways uh, for social and uh, public health effor efforts uh, to reduce diabetes uh, rates. Um, so I want to explore uh, the background of our research more deeply. Uh, diabetes, uh, diabetes is a significant health uh, challenge worldwide, and it is especially uh, served in the United States, um, affecting over 37 million people or more than 11% of the population. Uh, these numbers uh, highlight the critical, critical need for better public health strategies uh, that address both medical and socioeconomic issues. Uh, our study aims to better understand the complex factors uh, that increase uh, diabetes risk by combining uh, socioeconomic information like income levels with medical data. Uh, we use advanced uh, machine learning techniques uh, to gain the, uh, a deeper understanding of these factors, uh, which we hope uh, will lead to more effective ways to prevent and manage diabetes. So in this slide, we look at the method we used for our study. We used the 2015 data set from the Behavioral Risk Factor Surveillance System, uh, which include over 250,000 clean survey responses. Uh, this large amount of data gave us a great base to examine how diabetes is connected to various health indicators and income levels. We also faced a challenge uh, with, uh, with, uh, with an imbalance in our data set. Uh, mainly, uh, there were may many more non-diabetic than diabetic responses. And to solve uh, this, we used the um, oversampling techniques uh, like SMOKE, uh, which helps uh, make our model more general and applicable. Uh, and each of these uh, steps was uh, essential to ensure our model are both effective and insightful. And after we handle the um, imbalances, uh, we develop predictive models using like a regression model and decision tree. And after we develop the model, we evaluate them and, um, and optimize them that I will explain more in next uh, slide. 
So for the result of our research, uh, first we began by using various visualization techniques to understand the relationship within our data. Uh, correlation, heat map, and incomes distribution charts were particularly insightful, helping us identify key pattern between health indicators and uh, socioeconomic status. Um, through our uh, feature engineering efforts, uh, we were able to pinpoint which variables had the most impact on diabetes risk. Uh, our model initially showed good predictive ability, but we didn't stop at there. We refined our models uh, through optimization techniques like grid search, uh, which improved our model's accuracy and predictive power significantly. For instance, our regression models, AUC score improved from 70% to 77%. Uh, demonstrating a strong cap capability to different between diabetic and non-diabetic cases based on the identified health indicators. Meanwhile, uh, the income-based decision tree model provide a foundational understanding of how well socioeconomic factors alone can predict diabetes. Uh, with uh, moderate success that improves slightly after optimization. So for discussion, our finding uh, and the importance of this, uh, it's clear that uh, socioeconomic factors, uh, particularly income, agree, greatly affect diabetes risk. Uh, our study confirmed the importance of well-known health factors uh, like blood pressure, cholesterol, and BMI, and it shows how closely these are connected to economic conditions. Uh, this insight uh, lets uh, us uh, suggest more detailed public health strategies that address both medical issues and socioeconomic condition together. Uh, our finding have a broad uh, implications indicating that uh, effective diabetes interventions must consider both medical and economic factors. Uh, we encounter challenges like uh, shortage of data, uh, that which uh, highlight the difficulty of uh, predicting diabetes, but also guide us toward uh, future improvements. Uh, we suggest uh, using more diverse data source uh, and actually data sources and advanced ma uh, machine learning techniques uh, to get better predicting diabetes. Overall, our research stressed the need for the comprehensive approach to evaluating diabetes risk, which can lead to more effective public health policies and focus actions that might reduce the impact of diabetes. So to wrap up our study, so this study has greatly enriched the understanding of diabetes by including a wide range of factors, especially income, uh, which hasn't been focused on much before. Uh, we have clearly shown that lower income levels are linked to a higher risk of diabetes, emphasizing the, that economic conditions are key to health. Uh, we used advanced statistical and machine learning tools that not only confirm what we already knew, but also revealed new ways that uh, financial well-being affect diabetes risk. Uh, this this uh, discoveries are crucial for public health leaders and policymakers. Uh, this kind of result highlighting the need for comprehensive strategies in diabetes uh, prevention and management that address both health and economic factors. Uh, as our future work looking ahead, we plan to expand our research by using more diverse data sources 
and improving our machine learning methods to enhance our understanding and predictions of diabetes risk. Um, our goal is to help uh, shape more effective public health uh, measures and stress the importance of uh, taking income inequality as part of uh, broader uh, diabetes care strategies.